In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the electrolysis of copper chloride. Copper chloride is CuCl2, and it's one of the salts that does not conduct electricity as a solid, but it does conduct electricity as a solution. And that's because when we dissolve it in water, we can split apart our compound into its charges. So our CuCl2 would split apart into copper as well as into chlorine. This demonstration shows that separation process. So in this apparatus, that is my vial of dissolved copper chloride in deionized water. And in order to separate it and test what's the positive charge and what's going to be the negative charge, then I have to send it through an electric current. So here I have a 9 volt battery and it is taped to two pencils that are sharpened on both sides. The pencil lead is an effective electrode so it's going to help transfer the current from the battery into the solution in order to separate into its components. I'm going to stick that in there to start and then um, I've got we need to complete this circuit so my positive I've got red and black cords normal convention is that the red wire goes for the positive side and the black wire goes for the negative side it actually would not matter how I arrange these wires for the sake of natural convention I'll stick the red on positive and then I'll attach it to one of my electrodes. Okay. There you go. Now we can see it, hopefully, a little better. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my negative one. I'm going to attach it to the negative terminal of my battery I think I want this end okay and then I'm going to complete the circuit by attaching it to my last electrode now when I connect this let's start making some observations of what happens in my solution Okay, so my reaction is taking place, so I must have some good connection somewhere. If I zoom in here, let's start with this electrode. You can kind of see that it's forming bubbles. We kind of have some fizzing that's moving up, some very, very small bubbles that are accumulating into bigger bubbles on the tip of that pencil. On this side, it takes a little bit longer to see what's happening, so you might have to wait a little bit, but eventually we'll start seeing some material that is accumulating on the tip of our other electrode. So I've let this reaction go for about three to five minutes since the last time I showed it to you. So let's go ahead and see what's happening now. Um, on this side, we can kind of see that material. Almost looks like it's not quite growing, but it's a, definitely attached to the tip of that pencil and as I'm moving it around you can see some pieces that are kind of falling off making a pile at the very bottom of our vial and then on this other side we're still seeing some bubbles that are accumulating now you can't tell from the video but if you were to smell the bubbles or to waft it towards your nose you could actually think that it might smell like a swimming pool. 
um, or bleach. Those are two common responses for, hey, this is what it kind of smells like. Um, also, we'll notice that if I take this out so we can see some color comparisons, um, and I might have just lost a lot of it as it fell down, but for some color comparisons, the tip of our um, left electrode kind of looks a little bit more reddish brown and almost colored, copper colored. Um, so, what can we deduce from that? Well, it means that copper is accumulating over here on our left side, and our chlorine is accumulating over on the right side. And if we look back at what side of our battery that was, we said the red was positive. So we have chlorine accumulating on the positive end of our battery. If my chlorine is being attracted to the positive side of my battery, that means that my chlorine is a negative charge. Similar to my copper, it's accumulating on this side, which was attached to my negative end. So my copper flakes, my copper pieces, are attracted to the negative end of a battery, while opposite charges attract, so my copper is going to be positively charged.